McDonald's Munchie Meal from Jack in the Box includes a spicy sauced and loaded chicken sando. Sando? One taco. Seasoned curly fries, a drink, a Sprite, so that's what we want with just to go, whatever it's supposed to be. And a baked brownie. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, <laughs> this is what it looks like. Uh, let's give it a try. <laughs> And in my editing, I said Sprite, but we end up changing it to a Coke, so. <laughs> and it comes with the air freshener. I didn't know if it did or not. Purple Haze air freshener. So that's pretty cool to get that for Snoop's Munchie Meal. And uh, let's see what we got in there. There's the tots. And by tots, right. I mean curly fries. Oh. There's the Sando. And there's the Sando, spicy, and it's got their Jex good sauce, some kind of uh, white sauce. I guess that's kind of a spiciness there. It's got fries in it. Yeah. I did not know that. So it's got the chicken strip, and it's got fries in there with all that sauce mm -hmm. and bacon. So that doesn't look too bad. And there's the curly fries, and there's the uh, baked brownie. So that is the meal. And then underneath is the taco. And then, oh yeah, there's a taco under there somewhere. But uh, they also have a thing on the app where you get you know, the tacos back for two for 99 cents again. So we got a whole bunch of tacos. And then I also forgot that they had the uh, the chicken wraps, snack wraps. We tried a, a grilled and a regular, not spicy, but yeah. So there's Snoop's Munchy Meal. Got the little freshener. <laughs> I smell food. We'll open this up, the sucker. It's fancy looking. Uh, let's try the curly fries. Ooh, that's a good one. So they're doing another slipper thing. They're all doing that lately, these meals. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm all about Snoop Dogg. No, I, 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 back in the day, I had no problem. But, fries are good. Interesting meal. The chicken hot dog things. What is up with these places? You guys should try it. And we are going to try it. We'll save the baked brownie for later. At $14, not terrible. You got an air freshener. But then also with the app, you get 20% off and all that stuff there, so... Plus, if they have a deal where it's like, you get $2 off, we're going to eat this a different way. Dog here. But that's it. On a hot dog bun. I just, uh, a little hard on this side, softer on this side. As you can see, it's grilled. Bun. <laughs> so, uh, cheapers. That's going to be fun trying to eat. <laughs> I was not expecting fries on it. I, I, I read it, but I didn't read, I didn't read fries. I guess I'll eat on the crunchy end. Or should I go with the chunkier end? Well. <laughs> can't get it in my mouth. <laughs> oh, look at my mustache. Hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, the bun. You can see a little bit in there. I don't know how well that was dark in there. You can smell that it was, you know, like a, a grilled bun, as you said. You can see, like, the little grill marks in there, and it has that taste to it. The taste has a lot of stuff in there. I like this uh, white stuff, and the spice isn't ridiculously hot, so... Seriously, it's still my mouth. The, the bun tastes good. I mean, it, the bun leaves a good flavor on there. One thing I love about Jack in the Box, and it's why Jack in the Box is one of my favorite places, just because the stuff they come up with, uh, what was it that we described it as? Like, comfort food? Like a comfort food, fast food, comfort food. Where they'll come up with concoctions like that. Their sourdough jacks are amazing. They're like burgers they come up with, these unique ones, regular ones. Their chicken sandwiches, their breakfast, their breakfast, they have like double cheeseburger in the form of a sausage pad, like a sausage version. 
for breakfast and the ultimate loaded thing like that they're munchy meals in general they're always unique with the stuff they come up with it's just if you want to go out and get some of that fast food it's gonna have to taste like fast food and these guys nail it every time the bun is delicious that white sauce on there the hot sauce on there the fries the chicken itself is really good i mean it was actually that's a very good piece of chicken it didn't taste bad the bacon all those flavors come together I just wanted to try the Coke. And it was delicious. A bursting with flavor. It's not too overly hot, at least for the amount they put on mine. But it goes away even if it was. That white sauce kind of cools off a bit. And then the fries, it's weird. It's a little mushy, messy, and sloppy. But it tastes good. And the chicken is really the chicken piece. I got the end of it. Because there's two. Because it's fat here, a little here. But then that's fat right there when I bit into it. So you get the two strips... It took Snoop Doggy Dog to get this kind of thing here. They need to have this. Oh, is this just for this? They need the. This is a good sandwich. 10 out of 10. Great job on this. The fries were good. The tacos are always good. Coke. Not bad for a pie, especially if you can get the percentage off or something. But I don't know. This dog sandwich. Maybe we should try those bird dogs at, <laughs> at uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. But this is an amazing sandwich. This is a perfect 10. It's so much flavor, unique, and it's what Jack in the Box does great. So it is amazing. This is delicious. I want more of this. Like, I want to eat a lot of these. And not just this one. Well, half of this one, but you know. Uh, the baked brownie. We'll try that, I guess. I guess we'll maybe show a little bit about the uh, snack wraps. And then there's the brownie. Yeah, with Jackson Winkin'. And what I just noticed, again, on the Purple Haze air freshener, that it says, this may smell like Purple Haze, but it's just an air freshener. Don't eat it or burn it. <laughs> oh, Jack. To the brownie. The baked brownie. Mmm. <laughs> it's got the chips. It's soft. A little crunchy. So the baked brownie is delicious. It's good. It's a brownie. It tastes good. It's a nice sized brownie too. I think for all the... You get the brownie. You get the curly fries. You get like regular medium sized drink. A nice sized drink. Fries. A brownie, a taco. And then there's two chicken... Big pieces of chicken strips on the bread. And there's also fries. So you're almost getting like an order and a half of fries. That's actually a very good brownie. <laughs> that is very good. So yeah, I think it's worth it. Very good guy. Very good guy. Very good job, guys. <laughs> I mean, the other ones are just items you can already get on the menu for the places. Like, who've all done it? It's like McDonald's did it. Burger King's done it. I think uh, Popeye's did it one time or something. But they're all just what's ever on the menu. And then it's like, really? That's the meal? Nothing unique. That's why I thought the Grimace Shake was cool. And the BTS uh, sauces a couple years back. But this, that dog... Snoop Dogg, you did it. Best of the celebrity meals. They need to do more like this. A Jack in the Box needs to keep it up because they're always awesome. Give it a try if you can, and it's delicious. Jack in the Box nails it. They just score perfect. I mean, it is amazing. I'm going to try our air freshener. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, let us know if you tried it. And Jack in the Box just does it again. They always do it. Good job, Snoop. You made, in my opinion, the best celebrity meal I've had out of all these fast food places. Yeah. Mmm. It's a freaking pickle in there. <laughs> so let's do the grow one. Thank you. So that's the grill one. It's got, I think, uh, that good sauce. Ranch. I keep thinking good burger when I say good sauce. But it's like good good sauce or good something sauce. The grilled one tastes pretty good. I like the grilled. There's a bread one. Because of the breading, I think this one tastes better already.